amazed on this programme by the creativity and ideas that get sparked right here in Kent. Tonight here on the Dominic King Show on BBC Radio Kent, let's head to the Margate School of electronic music. Yes, that's really a thing. There's a free launch party on Friday night at the High Street venue. Music producer and artist David Maitland is behind it. Here's the story tonight from Margate. You're listening to BBC Radio Kent. 12 minutes past seven... The event and the course we're going to be running is at Institute Studios in Margate, a beautiful space. But um, we go by the name Tonic Note Records. That's been our record label for about five years, but it's now evolved into this school of electronic music. And the idea is we're going to run courses very frequently. Uh, Our next one's in September and there'll be one in January. And this is like our trial year. And then next year will be much more than that. And the idea is to get people in groups learning about electronic music, using the software Ableton Live, and kind of basically taking their ambition to not just listen to music, I want to start making good music, and really showing them that, yeah, you can do it, this is how you do it, and here's a sort of repeatable process for it. There's this idea, isn't it, from slow to flow? Yeah, exactly. Because um, a lot of beginner producers have this frustration and it, they're watching little YouTube tutorials and it, it kind of is a bit piecemeal learning. And it can get frustrating. So the idea is rather than being slow, you get in your flow state and then um, you can just create without those sort of boundaries or hurdles that you might have been experiencing and technical glitches and things. That's what we're here to help with, yeah. The Margate School of Electronic Music, first of all, sounds so cool. Imagine you having that on your CV. I mean, that's really cool. Uh, but but for you, where did it all start? Where did this love of electronic music come from? Oh, man, I have to rewind the clock quite far for that, actually. And I think at the time, I maybe didn't even realise it, but my dad got me into bands like Pink Floyd and Genesis So we were always into like rock music of the era, but those bands use so many like keyboards and synths. And, you know, we were basically kids, but I just remember being well drawn to those sounds in those bands and being like, oh, whoa. And gradually that evolved into finding out about like craft work. And then I was growing up um, in my mid 20s. It was like kind of the early 2000s and loads of bands started evolving into this like new rave scene with like klaxons and all these bands had synthesizers and keyboards and that kind of was a pathway into more electronic music. And once I moved to Glasgow, um, there's a famous duo, uh, Franz Ferdinand actually recommended them in an article, but they're a DJ duo called Optimo. And we used to go to there at Sub Club a lot. So there's this whole mishmash of rock and indie and electronic. And I like, I like to think of bring that perspective to the course. So if you come to learn, um, but you are a little bit more guitar based or play bass guitar, but want to add elements of production, and that's something we can cater to as well. So it's, that's how I got into it in my journey. We run like a regular online music maker social club and each month has a featured artist. And we just featured Hannah Peel, who's this incredible artist and she we done a case study on her and she actually blends electronic music with classical music uh, and then ha- takes it to deep concepts about kind of the tectonic plate shifting across the world and she works with an orchestra sometimes but incorporates electronic music she was nominated for the mercury prize just recently So, yeah, I think there's such an art and science to it. And it's nice to see it crossing over between these worlds as well. Throughout our conversation, we're hearing samples of music that has been created with you and uh, at the the, the school itself. And then that sense of, you know, actually what you can create, which is amazing. We're hearing all sorts of music, you know, just picking out, you know, um, Ellen is a a Kent-based producer. It's like that. Yeah, that track, I love that one because it really kind of has that feeling of kind of uh, kind of excitement of going on holiday and traveling and Ellen loves adventure. Um, And at the very start of that track, it might not be in the clip, but she's even like sampled like an airport with like Spanish voices in the background and the doo doo of an announcement. 
So it's quite cool. You can put real life sounds into your electronic music and give it more of your story and personality. So that, that track really does it for me. I love it. And the vocoder on it, it's like, um, she did that herself. It's not a sample, um, but it does remind me of like classic Daft Punk, which I'm always loving as well. As as you go on with this school, what's the idea ultimately at the end? Is this bringing people into the industry? Is it a mixture of that and also just an appreciation, a love, a, f- a fan club of electronic music almost? Yeah, well, the, the dream is uh, a lot of producers I meet uh, when they're starting out, their goal is they just want to make their music that they like, hear in their head or they want to make music like their favourite artists or sometimes their DJs and want to start making their own music. So really the goal is get people to a level where they are making their own music and it's professional sounding as possible. It's a release quality. Then our label has the chances on our compilations for them to actually get it out there as well. And then going forward from that, um, because I studied sound engineering at college originally and uh, work in the industry day in, day out as part of a studio as well as the school and my own electronic music, the idea is I could uh, nurture those people to take it further if they did want to maybe take a sideline into film composition, for example. Which is becoming, you know, we're hearing more and more electronic music being used within films. And, and you know, there's the kind of aspect of it, you know, even something if you think like um, multi-million pound movies like Dune, you've got that incredible ethereal sound going on. Oh, it's absolutely amazing. Um, for example, even... Hans Zimmer is famous for his like orchestral scores, but blends in sounds of synthesizers. And he's always been at the forefront of um, music technology as well as using classical instrumentation in his scores. And there's some examples where it's the, the a plane's flying across the screen, but the rumble of it's actually like the sound of a synth mixed with the engine noise of the plane. And it's almost like the score is becoming the sound design of the film. So what's cool is that Institute Studios, where we run our courses... Huey, who actually runs that whole kind of studio, he actually does work in film composition kind of frequently. So we can always uh, tap his shoulder and ask for a bit of advice on that as well, which is cool. Yeah, um, he's an alter ego jackal, a regular on our show. And we love the fact that he's created so many different um, places for people to come and learn. And you're doing that too. And Tonic Note Records, your company for the last five years, bringing that music to our ears. So that must be such a joy for you personally that you've got these different levels of what you're doing within your own career, that you're making music, you're creating music, you're teaching music and you're embracing music. Oh, yeah. Just trying to live it as much as possible. And even just like you said, the community aspect of it, that's always been a strong, important thing over the past five years and with the school going forwards. So to have our monthly meetups on Zoom for those that aren't actually in Kent, but around, we've we've even had people from France joining in that in Scotland, where I'm from originally. On our compilations, we've had a, a couple of people from America on them. And even our first ever event up on Calton Hill in Edinburgh, uh, we had like a Cambodian performer and Thai electronic music producers who just happened to be in the area and were up for it. So it's really that community, but keeping that lasting in-person events like our event on Friday, which I'm super excited about, Institute Studios in Margate, and also at our monthly Zoom catch-ups as well. Clearly, music is a, a global language, isn't it? It's a, it's, a, it's a language for planet Earth. So ultimately, we all can connect with it. You, you don't have to have words. It speaks for itself. What's it been like for you coming to live here, especially amongst the, the kind of creative elements that you're meeting every single day? Oh, it's been unbelievable, to be honest. Um, the sort of openness and enthusiasm and like appetite for like culture when it comes to visual art or events or music is... Uh, it's it's quite rare to have such an appetite. You know, people will put on one event and, um, for example, Margate Modular is an event at Faith and Strangers and it's like a synth meetup event with some performance. And, you know, I, I did live in Berlin for a little bit and there was an event like that in Berlin and I went and it was kind of a DIY event and about five people turned up, whereas this one in Margate had like about, I don't know, like almost 100 people there. And it's like in Margate, this small town. So I think Margate and Kent as on a broader spectrum, like in Kent, you've got the Look Mum No Computer Musical Inventions Museum. Uh, there's just so much going on. So I think 
it's been uh, especially after coming out of lockdown and that it's been like overwhelmingly awesome uh, to be here enjoying it and then to be sort of welcome into it so readily as well even your call <laughs> Dominic I was so nice to hear from you son like grateful again for the invite on the show things like that so yeah great stuff long may it last yeah well it's been so great having you on the show and i can't wait to hear more from you in the future too uh, as we continue our conversations together a uh, good luck with it and people can come in for free yeah for the event tomorrow it's free there's a installation you can play on as well there's going to be like little 10 minute performances through the night it's from 8 p.m till 10 p.m that's how long we've got the venue for so get there on time if you want to see it all there's gonna be some djs live performances and even some challenges where there'll be producers, can you make a beat in 10 minutes? Or people suggest something in the audience, what sound can we record and can we make a beat out of that? Uh, just to show how the music making software works and uh, do little fun demos of it as well. So a mixture of things. Um, it's mainly aimed at adults, but it is family friendly as well. So yeah, everyone's welcome. It's free and uh, we'll have some merchandise, t-shirts and all sorts of stuff there as well if anyone's interested. The Margaret School of Electronic Music. Thanks so much for being with us, David. Great to talk to you. My pleasure. Thanks so much. Catch you later. See you tomorrow. David Maitland, music we heard from Cam Shackal, Ken Show, Dusty Hayes, Dead Freakin' and Last of the Free. Check out Tonic Notes Records on Insta for the latest posts about Friday night's events. It's so good case to hear that happening. And, you know, wow, the Margate School of Electronic Music, right? Yeah, I mean, having been on Introducing uh, last weekend, for example, listening to all of the great electronic music that's coming in, you know, Kent has always had good guitar bands, has always had really great singer-songwriters, and I've just seen that electronic music scene, whether it be kind of pure house or disco, techno, whatever it may be, it's really, really up and coming especially in Kent. We've had artists like Maidstone's Fen played on national radio week in, week out for the last few months. Really looking forward to hearing more about what they do there in Margate. Continuing to thrive. Creativity going on right now. Casey...